Hi, I'm Dave from Scuba Delphia. Today I want to go over finding the minimum service interval. Uh, it's kind of a, a question a lot of people have in open water class, how to determine this, this number. Uh, join us uh, any second Tuesday of the month at 7 o'clock here at Scuba Delphia for our Seahorses Dive Club meeting. We always bring guest speakers in, talk about latest trends in, in scuba or some trips they've taken. Uh, that's my advertisement for now. But let me get into this. So we're trying to find the minimum surface interval, the time you need to stay out between two dives. Uh, this is going to be useful because once you get on a boat, there's no scuba police, there's nobody going to tell you what you need to do. But like when we go to North Carolina, we're doing some deeper dives and our surface interval is about two hours long. It gives us more time on the second dive to, to enjoy the dive. Uh, but you just can't get out of the water after a dive, change your tanks over and jump back in under most circumstances. You need to let the nitrogen work its way out. Uh, so as we've talked about before in our other dive planning is uh, how nitrogen absorbs in your system. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't want to saturate ourselves and, and become bent or, or have decompression sickness. So we want to manage that. And uh, I just listed up here two dives. All right, so we have our 69 feet for 35 minutes, followed by a service interval that we don't know of yet. That's the information we're looking for. Followed by a dive 58 feet for 40 minutes. We're going to hit a reef on one dive and a wreck on the other. Just our general dive planning, our captain told us where we're going today. So we're wondering how long we have to stay out between the two dives to do them safely. So our 69 feet for 35 minutes. 69, we'll have to round to 70. Remember, anything over 60 feet, if it's 61 or 62, on forward, we'll round to 70. So 70 feet, let's come down for 35 minutes. 35 is actually on here. Come across, we'll see that we're a Q diver. So let's put Q up here. I don't remember very well, so I'm going to circle Q on here also. Uh, I'm going to flip to the back table for the second dive. And now the pressure groups are along the top and the depths are along the sides a little bit different. 58 feet will round to 60, so we'll find our 60 here. And we're going to stay for 40 minutes. So 60 feet we're planning for, come across the blue line here, the adjusted no decompression line. Um, Come across till you find 40. 40 is not on here, so 39. We'll have to go up to 41, and then let's go up from there. So the dive is going to be 40 minutes, but we have to plan for 41. Go up to a C or a C pressure group there. So flip back to your front table, and we're a C coming from the bottom here. Let's come up this way. Q coming across this way where they meet. We're going to see that we are between one hour, 21 minutes, and one hour, 42 minutes, the minimum service interval is one hour, 21 minutes that we need to stay out to do these two dives safely. If we were to do this dive, get out and spend one hour, we'd have too much nitrogen in our system to do this dive. So the minimum is one hour, 21 minutes. You probably want to wait at least an hour and a half or so, but that's our, that's our number for that, uh, that dive planning there. Please email me if you have any questions on this stuff, dave at scubadafia.com, or visit our store in Northeast Philadelphia. Phone number here is 267-343-5590. You can also shop scubadelphia.com. Thanks. I hope to see you at a seahorses meeting soon.